Hello YouTube. i um, here to demonstrate or show you how I mounted my Gen Tent uh, over my Honda EU3000 IS generator. Um, I found the videos online to be lacking, at least last time I checked. Uh, this is my very first YouTube video, so pardon any shortcomings in my presentation or the video, but I think uh, those of you who have this generator will find it uh, to be uh, quite informative and get you up and running pretty quickly with the uh, gen tent mounting uh, The thing that'll take you the most Time right up, you know the very first time you do it is figuring out where to put the brackets and all I think this video will help really speed that along So let me pardon me. It's a bit tight here <clears throat> Let me show you what I did uh, the mounting brackets held in with the the strap with the ratchet lock there on the side ratchet device uh, the kit comes with four of these corner brackets and 16 grommets uh, eight big ones and eight small ones on the other side here on the electrical panel side of the generator I've used the corner brackets with the four large grommets here four large grommets here and to get the angle of the gen tent right fortunately it worked out very easy uh, on the electrical panel side, I've got the upper set of grommets nesting in this indentate, case indentation here, and same thing on that side. And on the opposite, the exhaust side of the generator, I've got the other two brackets with, mounted with the small grommets, and they're positioned so that the upper inner grommet is sitting inside that case uh, indentation for the mounting screw for the case. Uh, so, you know, there's no guessing. If you mount yours like I have mine, you'll get the same result as, as I did. With regards to the extension arms, on the exhaust side, I have one extension arm on each corner. On the electrical side, I've got three on each corner. And it comes with three, six, eight total, so I use them all. Uh, additionally, the, these rods on all four corners are plugged into the end a hole in the in the bracket make sure you have these holes facing up when you when you mount the bracket snap it in there uh, and that's on all four sides and also on all four sides all, all the brackets you know you have this detent here they're all positioned not on the innermost detent so if I can focus this up a little bit better not on the innermost detent, but one over from it. So the next to the innermost detent on all four sides. Uh, so just to recap, the exhaust side, one extension bracket each, each corner. The electrical side, I've got three extension brackets. And uh, all four corners next to the innermost indent. And the rods are in the outermost holes on all four corners. Uh, the instructions... Um, state you want to get the the width from this corner to that corner from here to here and the you know the width there and the length there within a certain uh, inch range and i found that by mounting it the way i just described it does fall within the uh, desired range so that'll get you up and running and uh, inserting these rods in the center cap just follow the directions in the uh, that come with the generator is pretty straightforward uh, mounting this thing was a one-man job um, when the generator I'm taking out now because there's a blizzard coming tomorrow here in New Jersey um, so I'm pre-positioning the generator outside as you can tell I don't have a ton of room between between properties uh, but uh, I leave the four corner brackets on when the generator stored permanently and I just uh, snap out when I'm when I bring it back in I snap out the extension arms and store them away with the gen tent uh, fabric hood the uh, I've got the ratchet and the strap uh, snugged up enough so that the grommets are deformed a little bit but not crazy tight you don't want to go this has the potential for uh, putting tremendous force uh, if you keep ratcheting this uh, with all your might you'll probably deform the case of the generator and uh, it took me a, a few tries to get the brackets on the strap in the right order the way I wanted them at all. Uh, just follow the directions. Again, the strap has to go under this middle piece of plastic here and underneath these tabs here and there all the way around. Uh, when you wrap the strap around, thread it through the slot here in the spool, pull it all the way through 
out, snug it up with one hand, and then ratchet it a few times, and you can, uh, uh, you know, get it nice and snug. Uh, don't just stick it here a little bit and start ratcheting because, you know, this isn't supposed to be wound up like a spool. You got to pull it all the way through, snug it up, and then ratchet it a few times. Uh, you'll also notice that, and this is critical, uh, the where I set to position the brackets and the grommets on the cases, that will give you the appropriate tilt to the gen tent so that when the tent is on top, you'll clear the exhaust of the generator. And uh, I'll do a second video uh, when I have that there, and you can see it in action. Uh, worked out well, and uh, uh, the gen tent does not get uh, hot, hot at all, and certainly not even warm uh, from the exhaust, at least uh, when I first tested it. Hope you found this useful and uh, stay tuned for uh, part two.